Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Tomorrow being July 4th. And as a patriotic American, to me it's a very important holiday. Uh, made possible by many men and women that long for something, long for more freedom or self-reliant from Britain. So it is a special day, the day our country was founded. So I hope you have a great 4th of July tomorrow. I will be bringing you boots on the ground. Um, I can't take a day off because I'm already overloaded with it. The information would not be used and I don't want to do that. It's rude, uh, the people that send it in. But I want to talk about prepping. I hope you're preparing for long term. And what I mean long term is when you leave this world, do you know where you're going to go? And I don't talk much about my, my faith in God. I, I do talk about it, but I don't want to be deceitful and bring you here because you're expecting a prepper channel and then preach to you. I don't want to do that. But it wouldn't be fair to you not to tell you why I prep and why I see the world through my eyes. My philosophy of giving to my neighbor and to helping people is is driven not by me just a nice guy it's driven by a command the bible says to take care of people i mean specifically widow people people that can't help themselves it's why my attitude is different than some preppers on youtube i'm going to give until it hurts not because i'm a good guy but what i'm supposed to do i've been blessed materially i'm not rich but i don't lack anything in this world literally i don't lack anything I have uh, full cupboards. I got a gun safe with guns in it. I got shop with tools in it. I got a great family. I have a great wife. I don't lack anything. I mean, there's things I would like. I don't need them, that is for sure. But one day I'm going to die. One day you're going to die. Where are you going to go when you die? Some of you might say, Dave, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything. When I die, I'm just going to be put in the ground and I'll disappear. I'll rot away. So I'll have to respectfully say that we don't see eye to eye on that. I believe I was created in the image of God and I'm going to spend eternity somewhere. And it's real easy to figure that out. It's do I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior? And I have. So that's how I view prepping. I view prepping um, as I'm taking care of my family. And the Bible says to take care of my family. It's my responsibility. It's not the government's responsibility. It's not my neighbor's responsibility. It's my responsibility to be a good husband, to provide for them, to make sure they have adequate things in their life to sustain them. That's why I prep. I also prep because the Lord's told me to prep. He's put that burden on my heart to share with people that, hey, a lifestyle of prepping isn't all doom and gloom. A lifestyle of prepping is putting back stuff, growing stuff, uh, buying stuff on sale, using my money wisely. That's what prepping is. But I want you to be prepared for what's coming. This world is on a pathway of darkness. It's getting darker and darker. But you know what? You might say, Dave, I'm just one person over here. I got a little light, that's all I got. You know what? Your little light is gonna shine bright in the days to come. Because think of it, in pitch darkness, a little light goes a long way. So don't get discouraged. So that's where I view prepping from. I'm prepared when I pass away that I know where I'm going. I'm going to heaven without a shadow of a doubt. The day I die, I will go to heaven. It's not because I do things. It's not because I, you know, I help the poor or I, or I do something at church. I do something there. It's because really easy. I accepted a free gift from Jesus Christ. Uh, he paid the ultimate price and he died on the cross. And I accept that, and I am a child of God. So that's where Dave's going. I don't preach on this channel because I don't want to deceive you and 
bring you over here and preach to you. But you need to know what I'm thinking. You, know, you need to know why I say the things I do about helping people. A lot of you say you can't help people because you live in a neighborhood and you'll be overrun. And I understand that. You also need to be wise. You need to be wise with what you do. So there might be a chance for you to help people in the bad recession slash depression that's coming. Maybe you can give to an organization that will use your money wisely. Maybe a local church, maybe a food bank. Are you willing to do that? Do you see your fellow man out there suffering? I do. Uh, it's heartbreaking. I have to read email after email after email of people suffering. It's emotionally, uh, we'll get to you. It will emotionally tear you up because you see good people suffering. And you see no politicians trying to help them. You see politicians trying to help every other country in the world. So to me, it's a burden. I'm going to do whatever I can do to help my neighbor. No, I'm not going to be foolish. I'm going to be wise. So that's why I say to things, people look at me and say, dude, you're going you're gonna to give away that you're a prepper. You know what? I have these things for a purpose. Maybe the Lord said, hey, prep this stuff, put this stuff back. I've provided you the resources to do it because you're going to be a light. It might not be a light of, of you know, sharing the gospel. It may be the light of just having someone with a full belly. But you know what? I'll do both. Because everyone will face death probably on this earth unless the Lord comes back. So I'm not preaching at you. That's how Dave looks at the world. I'm here for a bigger calling than just, hey, get a year's supply of food. Yeah, get a year's supply of food, but also figure out when I pass away from this earth, could be in a car accident tonight driving down the road, could die from a heart attack. You could just die when you're 97 years old and your body gives out. Where are you going to spend eternity? That is the biggest prep you need to take care of. Because it's not going to matter when you pass away that you have three years of mountain house stuck under two beds in your spare bedroom. It's not going to matter you have 100,000 rounds of ammo stocked up for the end of the world. At that point, it's going to matter what you did with a free gift that was offered by Jesus Christ. Did you accept it or did you reject it? So, I really can't be honest with you without telling you where I get my viewpoints from. So you know why I say the things I do. And if you don't believe in God, you know what? It doesn't matter to our relationship. I'm not going to look at you uh, as a viewer of my channel any differently. If you're an atheist, you're an atheist. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to show you a lot of love. But I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to pray for you. So that's how Dave sees the world right now. He sees it out of the eyes of wanting to help people. And that's priority number one. The gospel and some rice and beans if they're hungry. If I'm doing what the Lord tells me to do, he's going to take care of me. What threat in this world can harm me if you're doing what the Lord says to do? There's no threat out there. He'll protect you if you do what he tells you to do. If it's your time to go home and he says you're going to go home by showing kindness to someone, so be it. So, if you're confused... On where you're going to go if you die, send me an email to southernprepper1 at yahoo.com. We'll talk tonight on the phone. If you are confused, if you have no assurance where you're going to do with the most important prepping item is where's my soul going to spend eternity, you send me an email tonight, southernprepper1 at yahoo.com, and we will get on the phone, and I will show you how you can have assurance, how you can feel peace, and it's peace. 
a piece in turmoil that's coming, you better have a foundation. And that's not a foundation of AR-15s and PMAGs. That's a foundation of knowing you are in the Heavenly Father's hands and you're a child of God and it doesn't matter what this world throws at you. When you're there, it doesn't matter. I was there personally when times were really bad overseas and I saw the hand of God. A lot of guys, including myself, shouldn't be here. I scratch my head and say, how in the world did we make it through that? How did we survive that? Not a single guy has a round through him. What in the world happened? You might say, Dave, I just you're a good soldier. No, no, not that. There was an influence on that field of battle that said, it's not your time to go. So, if you need assurance of that, Southern Prepper One at Yahoo.com. Um, done preaching at you. You've come to this channel to learn prepping, but I have to be fair and I have to tell you how I see the world. Thanks for watching.